Jesus Christ is coming soon. That is correct. Today is a day of salvation. We all have the chance to repent and to believe the gospel. Jesus Christ said, Fear him who has the power to cast you into hell. Many people are ashamed of these words of the Lord Jesus Christ. But the Lord Jesus Christ said, If you're ashamed of me and my words, I'll be ashamed of you. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by him. Amen. Free mercy. Jesus Christ offers free mercy. He said, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous his thoughts. That's the truth of the matter. Jesus Christ is the only way. The only way we can have access to the kingdom of heaven. There's also judgment when you meet God. The Lord already called you if you're an adulterer, a fornicator, a homosexual, a sodomite, covetous, drunkard, reviler, extortioner. The Lord already called you those names. He already gave the judgment. So we're out here to warn you that if you practice these things, the Lord said in His Holy Bible that you will not inherit the kingdom of God. Do you want one of these, sir? Okay. Alright. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Many people reject Him. We know He is very well rejected nowadays. That's all right. That's why we come out here to proclaim His name, to preach Him, to compel you to come in. It's sick. This nation's wicked. This, this nation is wicked. It's getting cast into hell. That's why we have Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton as uh, presidential candidates right now. It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up. Those who have ears to hear, let him hear. All right, those who have ears to hear, let him hear. So we're out here today to let you know that Jesus Christ, he has mercy for you. You can repent and believe the gospel, but believing in the gospel means obeying the gospel. It doesn't just mean you just believe, but keep walking in sin. It means once I believe, I need to obey Jesus. That's the truth of the matter. We must obey him. We can't just proclaim him and not obey him. He said, many will come to me on that day. They'll say, Lord, Lord. He'll say, depart from me. I never knew you. You worker of iniquity. Amen. You do not want to be a worker of iniquity before the Lord Jesus Christ. You want to hear, well done, thou good and faithful servant. That's the words I'm trying to hear. So that's why we're out here trying to compel you. Want one of these? Trying to compel, all right. Trying to compel you to come in. Trying to preach the gospel. The Lord is merciful. He's just. He's, God is a just judge. He's faithful. He's not a man that he should lie. And the Lord said, if you repent, you will not likewise perish. But unless you repent, you will likewise perish. Repentance, what does it really mean? It means we're going to turn from, from living our wicked lifestyle that we already know when we do bad, that our consciences bear witness of what we do. All right? We turn from a life of sin, we turn unto obedience to God. And that's the truth of the matter. Not many pre people preach this anymore. They actually think we're, uh, we're hateful, you know, we're being judgmental and all these types of things. But it's actually the Lord who's already judged. He's already called you whether you're an adulterer, a fornicator, a murderer, a liar, a thief, whatever those, if you practice any of those things, it says you will not inherit the kingdom of God. And so we're out here today, we're warning our neighbor, we love our neighbor, and uh, we're out here to let you know and love, Jesus Christ can forgive you, man. He can forgive you all sin. And, uh, you know, but you got to make the choice. You know, it's, it's about either you commit or you don't. And so his, his hand is out for you. He says his arms are wide open, you know, even to a rebellious people. But many people don't want to accept him. Many people just want to spit on his name. They want to uh, throw trash on his name. And uh, unfortunately, you know, the Lord said, you know, that if you reject him, and if you, you reject us, you're also rejecting the Father. And so, I wouldn't want to be one that rejects the Father. Um, we'll all answer to God. And either we bow now or we bow later. Either we bow now or we bow later. So, I, I'd rather bow now. And, uh, you know, we're all going to have to bow and confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Here, consider what I'm telling you. Read your Bible. Open the Bible and read the words that will give you life. Read of the testimony of Jesus Christ as we bear witness out here that the Word of God can go forth, can pierce your heart. 
can soften your heart, that your heart may be changed from a heart of stone, that you may become a heart of flesh. That's not feeding the spirit. That's feeding your flesh right there. And if you let it lead you, you're going to hell. Turn from your sin. Pour it out. Get rid of it. You can drive down the street. You don't know when you're going to die. A car could hit you. And then what? God may spare you, allow you some time in a hospital. God is so merciful. He's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Repent today. This is a loving message. We, we love you so much. We, we, we don't want to care about how we look how, of ourselves. We want to deny ourselves, take up our cross as Jesus commanded us, and follow him, follow the risen Savior Jesus. We're going to have persecution. We're going, to, we're going to be hated. But really, you hate Jesus. You hate the testimony of the truth. It exposes you. The Bible says everyone who practices evil hates the light. If you're practicing evil, you hate Jesus. You hate what he's told you. And you need to humble yourself. In the sight of God, the Bible says, cleanse your hands, you sinners. And purify your heart, you double-minded. Lament, mourn, and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourself in the sight of God and He will lift you up. Jesus is the way. You need to repent. The Jesus of the Bible. I know there's so many Jesuses being preached. That's not the true Jesus. There's only one way. Jesus, the Son of God. God manifested in the flesh. He died on a cross. He was buried in a tomb and He rose from the grave on the third day. People, but you've got to realize your, your sins separate you from God. You've got to realize that if you're a sinner and you know the things of your life are sinful, you've got to repent. You've got to change your mind of all your ways. The Bible says there's a way that seems right to a man, but it's in is the way of death. And see, the, 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 the way of life winds upward for the wise. So you need to become wise. Hear this instruction from the Word of God, the Holy Bible. Please consider your life is but a vapor. And the Bible says that now is the time. Behold, today is the day of salvation. You can be saved, people. You can change, but you can't do it on your terms. You've got to change. Let God change you. He can change you into the image of His Son. He doesn't want you to be conformed to this world. He wants you to be transformed with the renewing of your mind. You need to turn. Sir? Sir? Sir, your, your customers need to hear this message. I mean, you need to hear this message. It's not harassment. This is what the Bible's called me to do. I mean, are you a Christian? You claim to be a Christian, sir? I mean, if you say you are, I mean, this should bless your business right here, allowing the gospel to go forth. You need Jesus Christ, sir. Do you understand the severity? People are going to die and go to hell. And you shouldn't want that for you. Want, you shouldn't want harm for people. You're allowing people not to hear the word of God. You're causing more harm than you think that I'm doing. I want them to hear the truth. This man's trying to stop the gospel from being proclaimed. See, he's, that's Antichrist. That's the spirit of Antichrist. Jesus Christ can save you from your sin. And you need to repent. Jesus said, repent or you will perish. Change your mind about your sin. Walk in holiness. Well, then you're in sin. You're a sinner. So people, please, please, I'm, I'm out here to compel you. Taste of the Lord and see that He is good. The Lord is good. He is good and, and He's merciful and He's ready to forgive you. He's ready right now, but now is the time, people. You don't know if you have tomorrow. You may not have the next moment. Please let this, let this word of truth, let this word, this word that can be rooted, can, can be planted in your heart, that it may grow, that you may be like, be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. The Bible tells us this. 
who will bring forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. But listen, the ungodly are not so, but they're like the chaff, which the wind drives away. Please, people, therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in judgment, nor sinners in the congregation with the righteous. But the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly is going to perish. Please, people, I don't want you to perish. I'm crying out here for you. Be reconciled to God. Please, be reconciled to God. It's not too late for you. You can be born again. You haven't gone too far. You're, you're, you're allowed this moment right now to hear this truth. You're going to live on for eternity somewhere. I don't want it to be in hell where there's weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. I want it to be in heaven where he wipes your tears away. There's no more tears, no more sorrow. You can, you can quit your addictions. If you're smoking marijuana, stop. Repent. If you're getting drunk, stop getting drunk. If you're around people who, who that's all they do, you need to put the bottle down, pick up your Bible, be changed, be a real man, and go and preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus can save you, not going to mock. God's going to mock you. God is going to mock when your terror comes. When it comes, comes like a, like a storm and your destruction like a whirlwind. It's coming. Judgment is coming. And if you're a sinner, destruction's coming. Please hear this. This is God is full of mercy. He is full of love. He is. The means that he uses is by the preaching of the gospel. His word's alive. And we're a testimony that his word is life. It gives life to the hearers. You need to hear and believe God. Jesus likens the man who hears his sayings and does them like a man who built his house on the rock. And when, and when the rains came and the floods came and the wind beat against that house, see, a house built on the Lord Jesus Christ stands. It stands. But if you hear these sayings, Jesus said, and you do, do not do them, he's going to liken you to a foolish man who built his house on the sand. Hey, and, man? Come on, man. Come here, come check, here. check out one of these, man. Talk yeah. to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Talk to my man, dude. Yeah, yeah. So please, people, repent. Put your faith in Jesus Christ today. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. People, don't continue being simple. Don't continue your days living in unholiness, ungodliness. You can be saved today, people. Stop letting that spirit of Antichrist rule you. The spirit of, of ungodliness. The, the Bible says he who sins is of the devil. That, that you're a child of the devil if you're in your sin, if you're not putting all your faith, all your belief in Jesus Christ. It's not just a mental thing. It, it, it's a change of life. You can be renewed. You can know the truth, and you can be set free. And Jesus came to give you life, that your life would be more abundant. You can have an abundant life in Jesus Christ. No matter what comes against you in this world, He's overcome the world. It's neither life nor death, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come can separate you from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. So don't be under this, this false illusion. Don't be under this mis misconception that God's, God's going to just not judge you because of what Jesus Christ did on the cross. You've got to be born again. You've got to respond to what Jesus did on the cross. You've got to respond to God. The Bible says that godly sorrow produces repentance. You've got to be sorry because of your sin. You should be sorry because of your sin. And you know what your sin is. You, you, you can look at God's commandments. If you've ever told one lie, you're a liar. And liars will not inherit the kingdom of God. Jesus came to give you life. Jesus said this in the Bible. It says, Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. And if he lives and believes, he will never die. People, I am, I am offering you a way out of death.
You no longer have to be afraid of death. You can, you can be gloriously joyful and God the Father forgiven us His only begotten Son. And John 3.16 says that, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Guys, so people, women, men, so for God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. This is the gospel, people. I'm not asking you to join a religion. I'm not asking you to join a church. I'm not asking you for offerings. Many of the churches out there today do such. It's a business. They want your money. They want your attendance. They want to be able to say, look at all these people that go to my church. Boy, God's really using this church. But as false people, God desires, He seeks those who are going to worship Him in spirit and in truth. 